स्मार्ट हो रहा है इंडिया जैसे इंडिया में बना एलिस्टा स्मार्ट एलईडी टीवी विद वर्ल्ड क्लास क्लैरिटी एंड अमेजिंग फीचर्स been your experience in india so far well india has been amazing uh, as brazilians we are very passionate about sports and we and i am very passionate about cricket so i felt that coming to india was the moment that i was going to find all these people with the same passion as i do and it hasn't been disappointing at all uh, i love the place i love the food i love the people and uh, but mostly i love the way cricket is seen here one of the most important things we should say uh, you met uh, virat kohli yesterday how was that experience like well when i entered the room yesterday uh, i saw virat kohli from a distance i said i can't believe i'm in the same place as virat kohli he's such a big legend and uh, he's such a fierce guy and uh, once i had the opportunity of meeting him i was shaking uh, i couldn't talk properly uh, but he's a he's a legend and he's a approachable guy you can see his charisma you can see his love and you can see how he values his fans uh, so it was an amazing moment uh, i'm never going to forget that in my life uh, so yes i can believe dreams really do come true how did cricket for you personally started back home actually cricket was not a normal trajectory for me i have been playing sports my whole life i played golf i played handball i was always very i loved watching sports and they lived in england for 7 years so for me cricket was something that i would see on tv and i thought it was actually very boring because i would see test cricket on tv i didn't understand the rules uh i thought it was very quiet but when i came back to brazil uh cricket was starting to be developed in the in in, the, in my hometown and they invited me to go and play a softball game uh i went to a softball game and maybe because i was a golfer i was able to hit one ball and once i hit this one ball everything changed i was like okay maybe this is cool and uh, the project was starting so i had the opportunity of growing with the project and i uh, see girls improving from the same project and being part of social change i think in brazil the biggest thing is how cricket changes lives and i felt in love with the whole project uh today i had a memory on my facebook showing my first tournament and i saw this terrible cover drive picture uh, so i'm very happy how things improved <laughs> and uh, i'm very happy to be in india now talking about cricket thinking that 8 years ago 90 years ago it was just a softball game that was a hobby on a weekday so it definitely changed my life and cricket is a massive um, part of it uh, at this moment so what do you think uh, is brazil cricket's next move in that direction to grow it more have it uh, at the more levels uh, than just grassroots and just have a better national team per se uh, what we are doing now in brazil uh, is we have to grow it sustainably we don't want cricket to be a sport that we're going to play for 5 10 years and then we're going to not grow anymore we want to make sure that brazilians at 220000 people million people over there are able to get a sex asset to cricket so uh first of all we are investing in three steps we are uh investing in into accessibility we want people to play cricket we are investing in upskilling coaches so we want to make sure that we have brazilian coaches to teach these kids to play cricket and we want to have a, a adequate pathway so if you want to play cricket as an athlete you can start in the grassroots going to clubs national leagues international team international leagues if you want to play softball cricket only you are able to play softball cricket so the opportunity of offering cricket for all levels uh, i think once we establish the th these three points we are going to have a sustainable way and we are going to have people that will want to be part of high performance more uh, the national team the national women's team is already contracted we were the first ones contracted ahead of the men's we were the first country to do that and now the men's team is starting to have their uh, high performance pathway also is structured so i do believe that they're going to be competing the icc world cup qualifiers from next year onwards the same way as we are doing and why not uh, see brazil in the world cup in the soon future after getting contracts now it has been uh, a lot of time after that what kind of improvements uh, particularly regarding your team you have seen uh, after the contracts has been drawn i think the contracts for us was a step 
that helped us focus in cricket 100% of the time. Uh, now we have 14 contracted girls. Uh, we also have uh, 16 uh, development players. Uh, so it's beautiful because but when I arrive in the training center now, you have 30 women, 30 girls playing cricket and that's their life, that's their journey. So what we see is that the skills improve with more time that you put on. Um, we have a very young team, so most of them are from 18 to 22 years of age, and that they are able to uh, invest their time into cricket, into developing cricket. And you see the first stories coming out. We see Laura Cardoso going to fair break, taking five wickets in five balls. Uh, we're probably going to see more players coming out and going to the, to the leagues and franchises and play away. Uh, so, but I'm pretty sure that. We already have players being competitive, but I'm pretty sure the team is going to be very competitive in the world stage uh, uh, soon. But um, the inspiration that it creates for the pathway, it's amazing. From, so these 30 girls that are playing the training center every day, they inspire five, 6,000 girls that are starting softball cricket now. And uh, we want to make sure that carries on. Smart Hora India. Jesse India made Alistair Smart LED TV with world-class clarity and amazing features.